Karuchi because she's the scariest in the best way possible. Come a long way. We have. I can't believe you're here. Well, you're here. Look at you. I don't know how it's happening. You can apologize. Um, but this is like your baby, your project. How does it feel to be on your own red carpet? I, 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 uh, I don't know. I haven't thought about it. I'm so sleep deprived. It doesn't feel real. Um, I hope that it's not a big joke and I wake up or I have this fear. Either I'm going to wake up and it's all a dream or worse than that, I'm going to check my bank account and apparently I paid for the whole movie and I'm broke. <laughs> That's my fear. Hey, but if people like the movie, you love the movie, then yeah. it's worth it, Hopefully. Right? Hopefully they like it and I can still pay for my apartment. You guys look like you instantly became best friends so was that like an instant bond there? it honestly was an instant bond uh, which is amazing it doesn't always happen and I've been really lucky with that but these girls are just very different but very strong women and I feel like we all connected connected immediately um, just silly things I mean we literally bought on Amazon this blow-up weird mattress thing and we hung out in one trailer every day because we wanted to with snacks and a blanket and we napped together I mean it, it really is an instant connection between women that are I think just honestly all want the same goal and wanted the same outcome and, I, and this movie came together so beautifully and I think part of that is because we really were connected so I think the fans will see that and it has such an important message I love playing Isabella she's a really strong beautiful woman who went through a lot of stuff and um, I think Megan is so incredible one of the reasons is because she helped write and produce it uh, she never talks about it but she is a wonder woman and I mean this is obviously inspired by a lot of things in your life and people that you know so what was maybe the hardest scene to, to film maybe um, I I think probably there's like a very emotional scene that involves some urine which doesn't really it doesn't sound like it would be emotional so that was a, that was like a tough scene to film just because like I I cry a lot in not in my life but like I'm a people one time anyone sees you cry on camera they're like let's make you cry let's make you cry and so I'm used to that but it's when you have to stay in a really emotional place for a long time that's really hard but I'd say also the scene at the end of the movie that's really emotional with uh, some of us girls in it that was really hard just because I couldn't stop crying and I couldn't say my lines and they're like okay say your line like wipe the snot off your face so those are probably the most challenging I mean that hotel scene the one you're talking about the way you did that reminds me of like the dramatic version of Bridesmaid yes. when she's in the street. That's exactly yeah. what I said. I was like, it's the only time you've ever seen like a dramatic women doing bathroom humor, but it's not funny, but it's really funny. Just to see four characters that are both well-rounded, but also have an arc, because normally it's like one character gets the shaft, but here we follow all your characters. Yeah, all, all of these women are very different characters, and they're growing into their own, and um, they are. They're very well-rounded with amazing arcs, but also it's not just, you know, uh, a girl's movie. Um, a big part of it is about handling grief and handling change and I think it's a very needed message that we're giving people and I hope they respond to it well because it sure helped me. A few uh, who's most likely to questions or superlatives. Um, who would you call first if you ended up in jail of your co-stars? <laughs> um, oh, that's kind of a hard one, but actually no. Um, I was going to say Megan, but she'd probably be in jail with me. Karuchi, because she's the scariest in the best way possible. So I would definitely call Karuchi. <laughs> she is the littlest, but we've had like... There's been times where like someone had said something creepy and then five seconds later Karuchi has them backed against a wall and she's half their size. You're like, what'd you say? Do you not trust to babysit your kid or your animal? I don't know. I think I would actually trust all three of them because they would instantly be my kid's best friends. I mean, that's what would happen. They would just be eating and chilling and yeah. I, I would trust Sasha because she has a ton of pets and she's like very motherly. I feel like maybe Karuchi just because she's the only one who doesn't have a dog. And who's most likely to make you break a scene? Sasha. 100% Megan. <laughs> you told me the kitchen scene was tough for you guys. It was real tough. It was real tough. And there's one scene in the kitchen where on the rehearsal, I just like rounded the corner and saw her and we both burst out laughing and our director was like, great, so we're going to do one rehearsal and then we're going to shoot this in two separate halves. So when they're reacting, I'm not there. And when I'm responding to them, they're not there because we just couldn't keep it together immediately. Every time I looked at her, I'm like, I'm going to laugh, I'm going to laugh, I'm going to laugh. What's the weirdest thing on your bucket list? I mean, I would love to pee on the bed of someone I hated. I feel like it'd be really cathartic, like and it'd feel really good. But I'd say like the weirdest thing besides that, I mean, I think it'd be really fun to do like 
like go streaking. I've never like done that. I feel like that'd be really fun. I kind of do that in this movie. I do kind of do it in the movie, and that was not that fun. <laughs>